I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, and my guest is Stover Egan. Stover, who the hell are you? <laughs> uh, so my name is Stover Egan, and I joined Oracle through the Ravello acquisition. So I look after all the sales consulting folks who joined Oracle from Ravello. So we're out uh, mm -hmm. delivering the technical messaging, supporting selling the Oracle, the Ravello solution to the Oracle customer base. And tell me about Ravello. What does sure. it do? So let's think of it from the perspective of the developers. So since that's our audience today, for developers, Ravello is kind of this um, wonderful new development in the world of putting a hypervisor on top of a public cloud such that developers everywhere can have instant reproduced data center-like environments on top of public cloud infrastructure. So if you've got a uh, VMware-based workload or a KVM-based workload inside of your data center that you use for something like dev test, you can take that workload and literally run it without making any changes to it on top of Oracle Public Cloud. So for every engineer out there, for every team out there that's undergoing a sprint or an upgrade, they've got infrastructure on demand in duplicate form to the development system they're working on from inside the data center available to them on top of public cloud. So they're getting the public cloud availability, they're getting public cloud pricing, and best of all, they're getting the, the pay per use uh, business model of public cloud. So um, dev test workloads are very uh, fluid, you know, very kind of um, variable capacity, but developers are used to getting given their development and test environments in a fixed capacity. So it's a beautiful thing for developers that you get uh, QA environments, um, upgrade environments, on demand, oftentimes orchestrated by yourself, so that's a little secret. You know, it's easy to use. You can uh, open an account and just run with it very quickly. And this is available right now? Available right now, yep. Uh, uh, Ravello was acquired by Oracle about five and a half, six months ago. Um, we're integrated at this point fully and uh, running on top of OPC, so it's as simple as going to oracle.com, looking up Ravello, opening an account, uploading VMs, and then you've got additional environments available to you on top of OPC immediately. Is there a, a, a blog connected with this, some uh, other sources of information so developers can go and Absolutely, there's actually a feast for developers at the, at currently you, you can find here, that. A feast <laughs> a for developers. A feast of content for developers. Um, Ravello, the product marketing team was prolific, uh, both themselves and an external network in writing about all the various ways in which you might use this service, because it's revolutionary. No, no one ever thought to themselves that they could run data center workloads on public cloud, so there's a lot of content trying to make that concept digestible. So if you go to either oracle.com and look up Ravello or ravellosystems.com, at the moment, um, you'll find that content. You can even just go to like YouTube or just out to Google or anything and type in Ravello Systems okay. and you get sort of, uh, very specific blog content. So lots of resources. Yeah. I, this might be an awkward question, but now that Ravello is part of Oracle, do you have a sense of how it might evolve in the near term? I do, I, do, I don't find it awkward, but it's, um, it's got so many paths to affect what we're doing here at Oracle in that I think it's, it's a big part of offering customers both a choice and a path to public cloud that is easy. You know, when you think about it, most public cloud propositions to the developer or to the business is kind of all or nothing on iteratively or perhaps uh, a workload is more appropriate to try to take advantage of public cloud business propositions, but doesn't want to be moved natively to that public cloud. And Ravello comes into the Oracle portfolio and, and slots that very, very uniquely. This is not something that any other vendor can offer customers. So when, uh, when you're a Oracle customer, or if you're an Oracle representative trying to help a customer, it's a very unique proposition to say, you've got this in your toolbox as a way to take a workload that you wish to have stay in its native dataware form, or native data center form, VMware, L2 networking, maybe network appliances from brands like um, F5 or Fortinet, all of that stays the same, but you can still run it on top of public cloud infrastructure. Let's, let's take a personal turn here. How have you been dealing with the transition from Ravello to Oracle? From a 60 person Israeli startup to a uh, 145 thousand person yeah. multinational um, I, you know it, uh, I don't know it's it's fun it's like it's like entrepreneurial all over again in a way where um, what you're trying to figure out is how to optimize how you interface with the giant corporation so in that sense we were trying to figure out how best to get Ravello understood by the marketplace it's very similar in that the marketplace is now internal and you have this megaphone to try and get the the message out there. So it's still very entrepreneurial, very fun, 
still in the honeymoon phase. Just huge. Yeah, yeah, just big. If you had one thing to say to the developer audience about Ravello, what would that be? How would you close this out? Uh, I would say simple. I would say, you know, if you're a developer who happens to be just watching this segment right at the moment, um, before you could watch a 30 minute sitcom, you could actually open an account on Ravello, run a workload on top of public cloud that was L2 networked, um, VM based, and run a test. It's that simple. So that's probably the thing that, you know, the call to action to any developer to give this a try. Um, if you've got need in your life, whether it's even a home lab or whether it's a small workload that you're currently waiting for your IT department to give you infrastructure for, you can get it onto Ravello in a very, very short period of time simply. Well, what the audience can't see is that Stouffer's wearing roller skates because of a re really hectic schedule. So <laughs> thank you for stopping by and giving us your time. You're welcome. My guest has been Stouffer Egan. I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. Thanks for having us. Thank you.